Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Today I'm gonna to show you three easy 4th of July DIY decor ideas on a budget. And stick around to the end of each project where I break down the exact cost for each one of these projects. For this project, we will be building an American flag. I start by taking the 18 inch boards and painting seven red and six white. And you'll notice here that I'm only painting the very front and slightly down the sides on each board. Next, I paint the four and a half inch by seven inch board with blue paint. I paint the whole front and all the sides. I let all the pieces dry, then distress each board with 80 grit sandpaper. Then I take my antiquing glaze with water and wipe it on each board. I add the star stencil to the four and a half inch by seven inch board. Then I add more blue paint over the stencil to prevent the paint bleed on our next step. Then I let that dry. Next, I start attaching my 18 inch boards with wood glue and one and a quarter inch brad nails, starting with the red board first. Now that the paint has dried over my stencil, I go back through with white paint and add it all over my stencil and let that dry. Once that is dried, I remove the stencil and add the board to my stripes using wood glue and brad nails. And that's it, this project's complete. I decided to add a frame around my flag that I stained with Early American by Minwax. I think this is so cute. You could add handles to the sides and use it as a tray, hang it on a wall, or simply place it on a shelf. Our next project is a USA sign using standard 2x4 boards and wood letters from Hobby Lobby. First, I paint all the blocks using white paint and let that dry. Then I distress with 80 grit sandpaper. Then I paint the letters. The letter S will be red and the letters U and A will be blue. I give the letters two coats of paint then distress using my sandpaper. I add the antiquing glaze with water to each board and the letters. Then I attach the letters to the boards with brad nails. And we're done, so easy. Our final project will be a sign. First, I take antiquing glaze and water and add it to all three of the 10 inch boards. Then I flip the boards over and add the nine inch boards to the back using wood glue and brad nails. I add Mod Podge to the front of the sign because this will help the decal stick to the board better. Then once that is dry, I add the decal to the board and add another coat of Mod Podge over the whole decal to prevent paint bleed. Now that it's dry, I add red, white, and blue paint to the boards and then I let that dry. Now 
Now we can remove the decal. I also distressed the project with 80 grit sandpaper and then added the antique glaze and water over the whole front. Then this project's done. All right guys, what did you think about those ideas? Let me know in the comments below which one you like the best. I know which one I like the best. I've also added in the cards where you can find three more patriotic DIY ideas that I just did for Memorial Day. So head on over there and check those out. Well, I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time. Bye everyone.